Hi, welcome to our channel. A few days ago I added a post on my Reddit and you nailed it. Thanks for every comment, I picked a winner. Wow! Wow! Anyway, when we were painting the army, we were inspired by this photo. We wanted to recreate the atmosphere of this place in our army. The video has been divided into three parts. You can see the first one now, the ice will be the second. In the last part we will show you the final details. Cutting hole for magnets in the zebra program. We import the elements of our model to the program. Body, arm and cylinder corresponding to the size of our magnet hole. Place the cylinder in a spot where we want to cut the, cut the hole. Parallel. Parallel. Parallel <laughs> to both sides of the model elements. We cut holes using boolean operations. First, the program shows the simulations. We approve the operation. We do the same on the shoulder. From the program clipboard, open files with holes cut out. When the file is ready, we can export it. Our proxy tyrant was created by Ayo Butov, link in the description. Thanks to Nicola, we were able to get rid of the gap between the hands and the body of our miniature. We mix two masses in a 1 to 1 ratio. We press our mass into the crack and smooth the surface with water. This is what the model looks like after gluing. The next step will be the foundation. Before applying the main color, I cover the model with primer. It will make the color of the next layers more durable. And this is Maya, our airbrush expert. Then it's time for our base color. We apply a rather thin layer. Now the armor. We spray the paint precisely by using an airbrush. Then we darken it. It's important not to paint over the light spots. Here you can see how it's supposed to look like in the end. We do the same with the armor on the tail.
Here you can see the before and after effects. To add some color to the model, we apply thin layers of blue with an airbrush. We leave a slight clearance of our base color. We gently amplifies the shoulders with white ink and our model is ready for painting. I want to show you a quick way to paint the skin of our model. Acrylic paints are perfect for smaller surfaces, while oil paints are perfect for large surfaces. Oil paints take a long time to dry, so I'm not afraid to leave the paint for a few minutes. Another great advantage of oil paints is the ability to wash them off with white spirit. To create light on our model, I apply a thick layer of white paint and then spread it over the surface with a brush dipped in white spirit. This keeps the transition smooth. In the spot of the shadow, I apply a thick layer of black paint and mix the colors with a brush soaked in white spirit. Thanks to this, the paint will remain both in the place of light and in the place of the shadow, and the transition between them will be smooth. I gradually add white to the light spots to make the contrast more visible. The principle is always the same. I apply paint and spread it with brush soaked in white spirit. If the light spot is not emphasized enough, we can make a so-called edging and run white paint over the edge. Remember to not have too much paint on the brush, because our edge will look uneven. Excess paint can be removed with a makeup puppet. Be careful because the puppet collects a lot of paint. I use it best when we want the paint to stay only in the recesses. Of course, oil paints also have their drawbacks. After painting, the model should be left to dry for one to two days.
After 24 hours, the model looks like this. 